So many big titles released this month. I think November will be an exciting month for cozy gamers. We have a lot of games released to Switch, PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, and some early access games also finally released. So stick until the end to see all new cozy game released in November 2023. Let's start with this adventure game called Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story. I know most cozy gamers doesn't think Look of Legends as cozy game, but this game is a single player game. So I think it will be cozy, especially if you love adventure game with story. You will follow the journey of two best friends, Nuno and Willem, to find Nuno's mother. Explore the frozen world of Fairy Yard by hiking, climbing, or slide away in the snow. If you played the original League of Legends game, then you will meet some of the heroes in this game including Braum, Orm, Folibear, and Lysandra. You can solve puzzle and fight the snowball fight. Song of Nuno, a League of Legends story, come to Switch and PC on November 1st. Next, we have a farming sim called Melody of Seasons. This game is inspired by other farming games like Star Valley and Harvest Moon. So you will find all gameplay that you love like cutting trees, farming, crafting, processing material, and so on. The character creation is very detailed and the town looks very cozy. I can see that the game dev really passionate about this game although they didn't promote it at all. That's why I really want to include this game. Melody of Season coming to Steam Early Access on November 1st. If you love My Time at Borsha, then you need to check My Time at Sandrock from the same developer. Similar to previous game, you will become a builder in Sandrock which is surrounded by desert. Because of this, you will get new challenges in obtaining resources from the nature, especially water. As a builder, you will get a few tasks to make items to help and build the town. You can craft, mine, fight, befriend, and even romance the town folks. This game has amazing storyline, so I think you will enjoy your life in Sandrock. There's also a multiplayer feature which, for now, only available for PC. But don't worry as the single player full release for My Time as Sandrock come to all platforms on November 2nd. Next, we have RPG game called Star Ocean The Second Story R. Play as Cloud or Reyna who went on a journey to save the universe from destruction. The main character that you choose will determine the perspective of the game and the party member that you can recruit. Then you can explore the world which created from 2.5D graphic, so you can fully see the surrounding by rotating the camera. While exploring, you can see the enemies by the symbol in the field, so you can choose whether to run or fight them. The battle is done using real-time action system with break feature to launch a more powerful attack. But don't worry as you also get cozy gameplay like fishing, crafting, and relationship mechanic. I think it will be a good RPG for cozy gamers since you can select the difficulty mode so it will be more relaxing to play. Star Ocean The Second Story R come to Switch, PlayStation, and PC on November 2nd. Let's move to this cute game, Fashion Dreamer. Become a stylist influencer and show your ability by designing unique items from a thousand designs. Then you can choose the detail to personalize each item. Mix and match everything to create your own stylish look. When you like other player outfit, then you can use the outfit on your moves. I really love how there are various styles to dress your moves so you can be more creative with the styling. Fashion Dreamer coming to Switch on November 3rd. Next, we have a casual game called Cat Express. Play as cat and deliver express to people in town by jumping around the obstacles. But don't forget to take a break to catch some fish and sell them to get money. Then you can use the money to buy items to create a cozy home. Cal Express coming to Steam on November 5th. For my city builder lover, I have Ratopia. Build your own craft colony and watch them grow to prosper town. Each tradition have their own characteristics, so you need to assign the right job to them. You can explore the underground area to expand the town and find the great old rats remains. Manage each detail of your town including finance, tax, and policy. Sometimes enemy will come, so you need to fight them to protect the town. I love how you can decorate the town with cute items and make it cozy. Rattopia comes to Steam Early Access on November 6. If you love Tintin and his dog Snowy like me, then you might be interested to Tintin Reporter Seeker of the Parrow. Go on an adventure in search for Tomb of the Parrow. Explore various areas in Egypt to India while investigating drug trafficking networks that you find along the way. 
solve puzzle and riddle, investigate and search hidden clues. This game features unique gameplay such as steel, car chase, even airplay. According to the game dev, they try to make the game as close as possible to the comic series. So it will be fun to see the comic comes to life through this game. Then the reporter, Cigar of the Parallel, coming to all platform on November 6. For my RPG lover, I have Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn DLC. A year after the original Tales of Arise ending, Alvin and his party meet Nazemil, the daughter of a Renan lord and a Dhanan. Follow the journey as they try to save Nazemil from the curse of the mass. You will get new storyline exclusive to the expansion along with new dungeons and subquests. I love that you can see how the ending of the original game affects people's life in this expansion. Tales of Rise Beyond the Dawn DLC comes to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on November 6. If you love magic and spell, then you need to check Spells and Secrets. You will play as a first-year student of Magical Academy of Grand Fenstein. A strange incident suddenly turned the school into chaos, so now it's your task to rescue your lost schoolmates by fighting magical creatures. Since the battle is action-based, you need to be creative when using the spell. You can also use the spell to solve various puzzles. This game has very detailed character creation which you can try for free. And you can play this game in local co-op in split screen, so I think it would be a great game to play with your friends. Spells and Secrets comes to Switch, Xbox, PS5, and Steam on November 9. For those who want a unique cooking game, then you need to check Cuisiner. Play as Pom, who tries to reopen her parents' restaurant after being closed down due to death. But before you can start cooking, you need to gather ingredients from the dungeon. As you can see, the enemies are actually monsters that will drop items used for cooking. Once you gather enough ingredients, you can go back and start cooking. There are over 100 recipes that you can make inspired from dishes around the world. Don't forget to get cute items to decorate your restaurant to attract more customers. I really love how cozy the town looks and the cute character that you can befriend. Questioner comes to PC on November 9th. Next, you have this cute life sim called Don't Die in the West. Play as cowboy and build your own ranch to survive in the West. You can carve items and build your house from scratch. Then you can explore the upper world, which consists of various areas such as Tumblefield Town, Hunted Man Chef, and so on. But be careful, since there are enemies around to fight you. This game can be played in co-op with up to 4 player at once. I think it would be a fun life sim with unique gameplay to play with your friends. Don't Die in the West comes to Steam Early Access on November 9th. For those that love adventure, you need to check Ikone Island and unlock adventure. Explore Ikone Island filled with mystery and pirates. You won't be alone since there are a few companions that will follow you around. Each companion have their own ability that can be used to open new area, solve puzzle, and gather materials. With the materials, you can craft items needed for your adventure or to decorate your house. You can fight, farm, and solve puzzle. This game has amazing story and very detailed companion system that's really unique. I actually have a review for this game if you want to see what the gameplay looks like, and I will link it on the description box below. You can play this game solo or in co-op with up to 4 players. Ikone Island, an online adventure full release for Steam is on November 9th, and it will come to Xbox on November 23rd and PlayStation on February 8th, 2024, with Switch port coming soon. We have another live sim called Spirit Day. This time you will be moving to a town filled with troublesome spirit. As you are the only one who can see them, you need to make them chill, else they will cause trouble. To do it, you need to restore the old pet house and make sure their needs are fulfilled. But it won't be easy as each spirit has their own preference. Outside the pet house, you can do various activities with the villagers. I really love the classic pet house look, which combined with puzzle gameplay that makes it unique. Spirit Tea come to Switch, Steam, and Game Pass on November 11. Next, we have an action strategy game called March of Shrooms. Control the mushroom squad to fight against the upcoming storm. There are more than 40 mushroom species, each with special skill that can help you to fight the enemies. The battle is done in a dynamic battlefield, so you need to stand guard at all time. 
You can divide the mushroom into several squads to tackle enemies that comes from different directions. The mushroom is so adorable, and I love how cute the world looks. March of Shroom comes to Steam on November 13. If you love farming game, then you need to check Coral Island. As you move to the island, you will see that the ocean is damaged by pollution. So now you are tasked to help clean the pollution and restore the wildlife. There are a lot of things that you can do in this game like farming, taking care of animals, mining, fighting, diving, solving puzzle, bug catching, and many other. There is a lot of NPC that you can befriend and romance. This game is made by Indonesian developer, so it has a lot of unique elements that you rarely see in other games. I also love that this game provides many styles to decorate your house with. Coral Island comes to PC, Xbox, and PS5 on November 14, which will release next year. If you love the game called Lake, there's a new DLC coming out called Lake Season Greetings. This time, you will play as Heredit Ted, Thomas Wills, back in time a year before the original game in 1985 during Christmas. Once again, you will go around Providence Oak delivering letters. Along the way, you will meet the residents who bring complicated problems to solve. This DLC will help you to answer questions from the original game. There are 5 new characters that you haven't seen in the original game. So I'm really curious about the new story that this DLC will bring. Like Season Greeting coming to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation on November 15. Next is a cafe simulation game called Sip's Cafe. Play a sip, an escort raccoon who want to turn his life around by opening a cafe. You will meet 5 strange characters, each with their own unique stories that make their life tangled with each other. Talk to your customer, brew coffee or tea, and even serve them delicious food. I think this game will bring a new gameplay that's unique from the other graphic simulation game while still having a good story to follow. This game can also be played in color or in noir mode so you can really feel the classic atmosphere. Sips Cafe come to PC on November 15. For my mystery game lover, I have Mystery at Grandview Village. This live sims allows you to create a character with unique personalities. The personalities will then determine your relationship with other villagers. You can find job, go to parties, and meet new NPCs. But be careful since there are mysteries that you need to solve from small dispute, family disagreement, to broken rules. So you need to find clues by talking to the witnesses or investigate surrounding areas. Mysteries at Grandview Village come to PC on November 15. Next, we have a cute adventure game called Loadernaut. Play as interstellar custodian tasked to clean the planet from pollution. You can use your gadget to pick up trash, clean plants, and restore the ocean. Don't forget to use the materials you gather to upgrade the gadgets. As you explore, you will find Lotus, the cute axolot-like aliens. Take care of the Lotus by feeding them aquatic fruits that will help them grow unique traits. Once their natural habitat is clean, you can bring them back home and restore the nature. I have played the demo before, and I find the cleaning gameplay is very satisfying, similar to Power Wash Simulator. Lunar Not coming to Steam on November 16th. I know a lot of cozy gamers love Dredge. Now they have new expansion called Dredge the Pale Ridge. In this expansion, you will get new ice steam biomes to explore. These biomes can be unlocked at any stage when you play the original game. To explore the new biome, you need to use 3 new equipments that can draw in the freezing ice. There are 11 new fish and crab species that you can catch in this expansion. As in the original game, you will find even more mystery in this expansion. Threads the Parish come to all platform on November 16. Next, we have Super Mario RPG Remake that I'm sure you have been waiting for. This game comes back with new 3D graphic that makes it appear more modern and appealing but it still maintains the original game character design and proportion, so you can still feel the nostalgia. Play as Melo, Geno, Browser, Peach, and Mario to explore the colorful world and beat enemies. If you have not played this game before, don't worry as they have easy mode called Breezy Mode, so you can enjoy the story without having to worry about the battle. Super Mario RPG Remake come to Switch on November 17th. If you know someone who loves Bluey, then you need to tell them about Bluey new video game. 
Let's Bluey, Bingo, Chili, and Bandit, and explore four areas such as the Healer House, the Playground, the Creek, and the Beach. Each location has hidden reference from the cartoon with secret to uncover. You can also play games from the cartoon including Kippy Uppy, Chatter Max Chase, and more. You can also unlock outfits and stickers. This game can be played solo or in multiplayer, so I think it can be a fun game for family. Bluey the video game come to all platforms on November 17th. My farming game lover, I have good farmer life for you. You can play as Matt as he moves to small countryside and start a new life. You can farm, craft, fish, fight enemies, and many other. This game is just a small farming sim that you can play at your own pace. Cute Farmer Life come on Steam on November 17th. Next, we have a story-rich RPG called Instant and Time. Play as events as they found themselves trapped in a time loop where they try to dethrone the evil king. But don't worry if you can do it since you can redo everything over and over again. With each time loop, Seafrance will learn new things that will help you to solve puzzle or make better choices in the conversation. There's also combat, which done in Paper Rock Sisters' turn-based battle system. Even though time looping seems scary, but the character and the atmosphere makes the game look cozy and fun. In start and time, coming to Switch, PC, and PlayStation on November 20th. Good news for console gamers, cause Through Tell Pacha, a farming sim that sets in Stone Age, finally coming to console. Play as one of the Pachan and give contribution to the community by performing tasks and offering items. You can take care of animals, solve various puzzles, farm, and make community ideas come true. This game has very strong community system and unique animal timing mechanic. I have completed a few of the game that I will link down below. Rise of Pacha come to Switch and PlayStation on November 28th with Xbox release next year. And if you want other cozy game to play, check my October cozy game release video.